perfect. Alright guys, we are at Bed Bath & Beyond and wait till I show you what we found tonight. Guys, this is insane. There is at least one, two, Nicole, there's, the, there's at least three more bags inside of here. We've already pulled this stuff out just a second ago and wait till I show you what's in the back of my truck. This is unbelievable. This is everything so far that we have pulled out of this dumpster. It is so much freaking stuff i think nicole what do we count i think we count 11 or 12 something like that 10 or 11 or 12 bags that we've already pulled out of there there is so much stuff that we just literally just have to throw in the back of the truck and from the, what it looks like it looks like it's a lot of like linens and stuff but this is the back of my truck right now we have no idea what's in any of these bags but um so far this is what we got and we got a couple more things inside of the dumpster all right what else is in here there's another huge bag of like pillows or something. I have no idea. And a pillow. This is insane. <laughs> I don't even, I'm so speechless. What the heck is going on? There's another one. More blankets and pillows? Yeah. Oh my freaking God. This is crazy. More stuff. Is that sheets? Sheets. All right, so for my guess, honestly, Nicole, is if you got, I don't know, what do you guys think? But I think, honestly, we haven't went through the bags yet, but something like maybe they did like a remodel? Maybe. Got rid of Because it, it seems like, shoot, I just hit the dumpster door. Uh, look at this pillow. But like I said, it seems like um maybe there's a, like a, Ooh, like a remodel or something. It is really, really hard. What the heck? I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably expensive. Is there a tag on it? Oh, shoot. There is. It's a display. $100 for one pillow? So maybe these are all the displays? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Maybe they like did a remodel and they were, like all the displays are just thrown in the trash. There's another bag over there. I don't think there's anything in this box. <sighs> no, it's just all cardboard. Let's go see what's in this box. I mean, I can already see it. It looks like just... More blankets. This is freaking unreal. This is so crazy, Nicole. What's in there? Is this more blankets and pillows? Blankets, mattress top, or something. Oh my god. So here is pretty much all the stuff that we just pulled out of the dumpster. This is not including the stuff I already showed you inside of the bed of my truck. This is, Nicole, this is crazy. <laughs> What is going on at this Bed Bath & Beyond? This is freaking insane. But um, you guys, your guess is good as ours. We don't know. I mean, obviously we pretty much think it's all like blankets and pillows and displays. I'm guessing we haven't been through the bag. So what's gonna have to happen today since it's so much stuff? We're gonna have to take all this home. And then of course we're gonna go through it with you guys and see exactly what's inside of all these bags. I think we counted, I think we counted 13 bags. So we're gonna go ahead and pack up the rest of this stuff and we will meet you guys back at our house and let's see what we found. We are finally, finally back at home. Um, we're getting uh, everything set up. We're getting our lights set up and all that. But um, we got a total of fifth. Was it 15 bags, Nicole? 15. 15 bags, guys. It's all scattered all over the place. There's a bunch of them back there. This right here. Um, this is like a. It's a three-inch Tempur-Pedic. Three-inch Tempur-Pedic. Some kind of um topper for your bed. That wasn't a bag, so we counted that as a bag. But the bag ripped when we uh unfortunately when we carried inside. But um one more thing. OG subscribers haven't seen Maya in a long time. Maya, say hi. Say hi. Maya, you don't want to say hi. All right. But anyway, guys, this is Maya. If you don't know already, she's a sweetheart. And then Murphy's over here, me and a good boy. Aww. People haven't seen my dogs before. A lot of you have, but I'm sure a lot of you haven't. But this is Murphy, and he's Nicole. Isn't this your weighted blanket that we found in the dumpster? Yep, I love that thing. All right, guys. Not gonna waste any more time. Pretty much getting everything set up, and then we're gonna go through all these bags that we just found. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first bag and just taking a peek of it it is a ton of shower curtains ton of items i'm going to move kind of quickly because as you guys know we have 15 bags to go through and it definitely looks like it's a lot of stuff so i'm going to go ahead and just start showing you guys first off we got a little beach shower curtain a little girl's fairy one 
here is just like a little neutral one. Some of these have prices, like this is $29.99, and then I noticed some of them don't. Here is a, just like a tan bluish one, and they're all the standard 72 inch ones. We got a really adorable fish one. There's like a really pretty blue pattern. There's also, I can see like some miscellaneous things in here. Like this looks like it is a pillow cover. We have another beach shower curtain. We have a towel. And actually we got these for our bridal shower and it still has a sensor on it. So I could definitely tell a lot of this stuff looks like it is the store's display items. Here is a, another shower curtain, just a simple white and gray design. A gray and white striped one. We have a, another little pillow cover. Another pillow cover and it is actually zippered right here. Another pillow cover. So this bag basically looks like it's pillow covers and shower curtains. Another pillow cover. Here's some of the packaging to the pillow covers. Tells you the size and all that. Here is another one. Here is a Euro Sham. This is actually a really nice brand. We find a ton of sheets from this brand. More pillow covers. This actually, I'm pretty sure is just like a curtain panel because it definitely to me doesn't look like it's a shower curtain. It could be, but I'll just have to take a look at it. Here is a luxury shower curtain liner and it's a fabric liner. Got a random glove, a random shoe. This looks like it's a shower curtain with like little white whales all over it. Another shower curtain. Looks like it's like a beach one because it looks like it says like beach and waves and all that kind of stuff and more beach shower curtains. Here is a floral one, and it was actually $29.99 for that one. Still has a sensor on it. Then here is a heavy white and blue one. And then the last few things in here that we just have is just a pair of those little like aloe kind of gloves. But that is everything in the first bag. Bag number two of more stuff in here uh first off i see a furry looking throw blanket it's actually really nice it's got the packaging stuff to it but this is really really soft and it's got a soft material right there we have another throw blanket and i think this might be the berkshire brand Yep, Berkshire blanket. These blankets are super soft and really expensive too. Then we have a little blue and fuzzy one by Style Co-op. Got some curtains now in this bag. So we got a pair of black curtains. Doesn't say exactly what size. Ton of empty packaging in this bag. Um, this is another set of curtains it looks like. Maybe a shower curtain. Kind of can't tell with the material. Oh, here is another one of the black one that we just found. So maybe they're sold individually. Definitely looks like it's a blackout panel. Here is a gray one. Looks like it's just one panel as well. I do know what their display ones, they usually hold on just to one panel. So hopefully we can find sets. If not, that's okay. Here is a blue one. This... I am not exactly sure what this is. It looks like it might be like a mattress protector because it's kind of got like that waterproof material in it. You know, the leak proof kind. Then we have, what is this? Oh, it's just a packaging. Some more empty packaging. Oh, here's a couple things. Here is a little short curtain for like a kitchen window or laundry room or something. Then this is a black tablecloth. This is really nice. And that is everything for bag number two. Bag number three. And this is definitely probably all display pillows because I see a DNI, which means do not inventory. 
Um, first off, we got, what is this? Oh, I guess these are just like the displays of like the mattress toppers. So we have like a little blue one and this one, which I can actually probably use that to make a little bed out of for the dogs. Then we have, oh, yep, these are display ones and nothing wrong with them. We have a memory foam Tempur-Pedic one. $39.99 was marked down to $27.99. And this one, it's just one of those standard fluffy ones. It doesn't say who it's made by. And the same with this one. Doesn't have a, does it? Oh, this is Royal Loft, Lasting Luxurious Comfort. So this one does have a name to it. And then the last thing in this bag is another one. This is Laura Ashley Home. It's just like a standard cotton one, not like a Tempur-Pedic or memory foam one, but that is everything in bag number three. Bag number four, this is definitely overfilled with stuff. First off, I see a really nice blanket. It kind of looks like an Ugg blanket. Let's see, is there anything? um no i don't see who it's made by unfortunately but this is super soft and we have a my pillow and this was for a king size it was 59.99 and then a queen is 49.99 these are expensive then it looks like probably a ton of more shower curtains or maybe just curtains in general what is this oh look how neat this is it's a pop-up cooler set so cooler just pops right up out of this. That's neat, I like that. We have a set of curtains. This is really pretty pattern. A, another curtain, and it actually still has the sensor on it. It's just a big blue one. Don't see the other one to it. We have a white panel. We have a really nice tan looking one. This is just a plain white one. There is a ton of curtains in here. Here is a set. Oh no, this is just a panel. It was $49.99 and went down to $29.99. Here is another curtain. Looks like it's just a panel as well. Don't know how much that is, but it's got some like little fringes to it. Here's a really neat designed one blues, greens, whites, and pinks. Or maybe this is a tablecloth. I'm not sure, I'll just have to really look into it later. Then here is just another white one right here. Here is a blackout one, white, black, and gray design. A really heavy burlap one. This was definitely a display because you could see it had the little tag right here. Then, here is another one, just another white one. Some napkins in there. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a pillowcase. A navy blue pillowcase. This is super soft. Another pillowcase, just a gray one, like a dark gray. Another pillowcase. Here is a blue curtain. And the last thing in the bag, is another gray king size pillowcase. Bag number five, we have another curtain, which this one's actually really neat. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. It's kind of thicker fabric on the top and then it's see-through in the center of it. Then we have one just like that, but in a purple. Oh, and actually halfway through it goes into a normal fabric. That's actually really neat. Oh my goodness, a ton of stuff once again. We have a real, ooh, look how pretty this is. This is so pretty, it's a throw blanket. I love how this looks. All like the little flower marks to it. Then we have a Euro Sham. Here is a, what is this? Shower curtain, little kind of like different color shower curtain. It was $29.99, marked down to $12.99. We have a little Yankee Candle plug-in in the shape of a pumpkin. This, oh, this is one of those pop-up coolers. So that's what the inside looks like. And it's insulated. It's a, another shower curtain. This is a reversible sham. 
I'm not exactly sure what this is. It's just, it looks like it might be a pillowcase, honestly. Another sham by Nautica. This was $39.99 and went down to $19.99. And it's just for one, just one sham. We have another shower curtain. This was $34.99, went down to $19.99. Some more curtains. This is like a really heavy, this is definitely a blackout panel one. Kind of like a metallic-y looking brown. This looks like it is a pillow cover. Here is another curtain. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. That was $79.99 for that. That is crazy. And it is just for one. That is crazy. This is really nice and heavy too. We have, oh, a ton of napkins in here. It looks like probably party napkins. A, another little mini curtain. There is another white curtain. We have a really pretty blue metallic-y curtain. Super heavy. These are really nice. Definitely made very well. Um, got some little kids gloves and it's got like the little tips so you could text and use your phone here is another one. Oh, so we got a set i think is it the same oh no slightly different color this one's more yellowish this is more of a gray tone same price 79.99 for that and then what is this looks like this is a kite yeah it's a micro kite I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's in there. It's just literally a thin sheet of plastic. But it looks like that is pretty much everything in this bag, just a ton of napkins. Next bag, it is once again, literally just jam packed of stuff. I see some more pillow covers. This looks like it is a shower curtain liner. Some more curtains right here. Oh. It's actually a two-piece set so this is i guess the one that goes behind it then there's a big yellow one another shower curtain liner more pillow covers oh this is pretty we have another curtain just like a gray with some like blue florals on it a white curtain more pillow covers so definitely a lot of curtains and pillow covers so far. What is this? This is a pillowcase cover and this is a two pack. Here is another one and this is super, super soft. Velvet, what does that say? Velvet loft. Here is another pillow cover. So these are like for ones for your sheets. More pillow covers. Here is a single pack, just two of them though, in separate packaging. Pillow covers. This is for a Euro pillow, because how big it is. Here is another curtain, or no, this is actually a fitted sheet. Little tiny fitted sheet. Um, we have a, what is this? A Spencer's hat randomly in here. I have no clue how that's in there have a couple of towels like little cleaning towels and hand towels here's a, another spencer's hat that's weird we have a maryland flag and this is actually a body pillow cover it's actually really nice too what is in here Another one of those velvet loft pillow covers. Still has the sensor right here. One right here, same exact one, just a different, oop, just a different little print. Some more pillow covers, socks. And it has something that I can't exactly read off of that. This also looks like it might be a shower, oh, this is a shower curtain really heavy the last thing in the bag is a scale 
this bag it is just one thing in here and it is a little blanket for a duvet cover as you guys can see it has the little strings right here and with duvet covers you can actually buy like little blankets made for them or you could just put it over your own comforter but that is the only thing in this bag and i am pretty sure it is a it is a full size this bag looks like it's also just a ton of display pillows. First off, we just have one of these little memory foam mattress topper. I guess it's like a display thing, so you can kind of just feel how it is. Then we have a big Tempur-Pedic pillow, and this was $99 for it. We have another little cotton pillow by the brand Royal Loft, and it also says DNI on it. Here is another one, and I don't know who is the maker of this one because it doesn't say on the tag. Then here is one by the brand The Seasons Collection. It says super firm, and it's actually really soft. I do like that. Not too firm. Oh, we got a Euro pillow. So these are like the really big ones that we could probably fit one of those pillowcases on but that is everything in this bag. This bag has more display pillows and more mattress topper display pieces. Um, just a couple little display pieces right here. We have another pillow by the brand Bedding Essentials. Oh, this is nice. Therapeutic True Cool Bed Pillow. And it's actually got like these little vent kind of pieces right here. And when you press down, you can feel it like push air out. That is really neat. And it's actually not too hard. Some more mattress topper pieces. Here is like a little mini version without the little vent pieces to it. A another pillow. This is a Euro Sham pillow. And I don't see who it's made up by, but it's definitely a down pillow because you can feel it with its shape. I am not sure. Oh, actually these are mattress topper display pieces again, but that is everything in that bag. And we have another bag of display pillows, tons of them. This is by the brand Therapeutic, and this is actually really soft. Here is one by the brand. Oh, these are actually from the sheets that we keep finding. I can never pronounce that correctly, but it, this is really soft. It is thread count of 750. So many pillows, this is insane. Here is another Euro Sham pillow. Let's see, is there a maker? Does it say who it's made by? Doesn't say it, unfortunately. Oh, I missed it. It is by bedding essentials here is just another one of those little mattress topper display pieces you can actually turn that into a dog bed another pillow and this one actually doesn't at all say who it's by and the last thing in this bag this is another one of those from the brand that makes all those sheets and also 750 thread count super heavy and super soft once again another bag of display pillows this is crazy i think we've found a total of like 20 pillows right now but um first off i am not sure what this is I, it looks like it might be like a maybe like a topper for oh no this is a display for a down blanket by that brand at first it looked like it was like a futon topper at first but moving on we've got a another display topper for a therapeutic more topper display models this is for three inches here is a down pillow still in the bag this is really nice, and it's by the brand Claritin. That's different, I never knew they made pillows. Here is another display for a mattress topper, a, another pillow from Claritin. This is definitely 
a display, a Tempur-Pedic display. This is a three inch. This will be perfect for dog beds, honestly. I do like that. I'm definitely gonna upcycle these. And the last thing in the bag is a, another memory foam pillow. And this is literally hard as a rock. Couple bags left, guys. And this one just has two items. We have another one of these Royal Loft pillows. And this one's actually more fluffier compared to the other ones. Also have another insert for a duvet cover. Oh no, this is a mattress topper. I thought it was an insert for a duvet cover, but this is for like, you get those mattress toppers that you go ahead and put like the strap around the mattress so it doesn't slide off. Does it say the size? It is for a full size bed, but that is in this bag. And we got one thing hidden all the way on the bottom. This is another one of the mattress topper display pieces, but that is everything in that bag. Okay guys, moving on to the next bag and it definitely is a ton of more curtains again. And I think this time I'm starting to see some pairs to it. So we have this really nice, pretty curtain panel. And here is another one. Super pretty. We have a little girl's canopy kind of thing to put above her bed. Here is another curtain. Oh, I like the print of this one. This one is super pretty. Kind of like a scalloping kind of scale looking print. Um, here is just a pocket panel, just like a little clear white one. Oh, we got a duvet set. This is a really pretty design. It is for a full size bed. Ton of stuff in here. We got some more pillow covers. This is for a Euro pillow. So it'll definitely fit one of the big ones that we found. Here is another one. This is actually adorable. It's got little ties to the back of it. We have a bright blue curtain, like an aqua blue. Um, a ton of single pillowcases. A lot of them are pink. So we got four of those. And those are just for standard pillows. Here is a, another curtain, like a little tan one. We have some leggings, medium sized leggings. We have some more pillowcases, super soft ones. Here is the ones right here. And this one just has a different stripe design to it. Here is another girl's canopy piece. Actually, I can't tell. Oh, it's got like little, you can't really see, but it's got little designs in it. Here is just like a little neck pillow cover. And then the last thing in this bag, we have a, another really big curtain. Last few things, guys. This is absolutely insane with the amount of stuff that we found. I'm like literally buried in all of it. <laughs> this is crazy. You guys definitely have to check yours out to see if they're throwing out the same things because obviously all this stuff is display models. But anyways, moving on to the last few things. We have a full queen size comforter set thread count of 500 and it is by that brand that we keep finding a ton of sheets from but this is super nice then we have this really nice cutting board it is super thick too and i'm pretty sure yep it is by that brand right here i don't want to butcher the name because knowing me i mess up everything then we have a 500 count sheet set for a king bed and i'm pretty sure that says it's a hundred dollars for that that is insane we keep finding a ton of king size sheets and then the last thing in the bag we have another sheet set and this is also a king size also the same price but yep Got all the pieces to it right here. But that is literally everything, guys. This is crazy. Perfect. Perfect.